hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see the demonstration of our project that is the car rental services project we will start with the user side first so this is the home page where you have some static contents and you have testimonials you have quick links and you have this social media links this is manageable from your admin side i will show you later in the video so let's go up and yeah you can go to your about us page and when you click on get car you get the car booking feature the main functionality of this project so here you can see there are multiple filters over here which is you have brand you have body types so you can see this is a toyota car let me just remove the brand and keep only suv this is the only suv i have let me remove that filter as well and you can see i've got all my vehicles over here similarly you have other features over here which you can use to filter the vehicles and you have the date filter from when to when you need the vehicle so you have to select the start date and the end date so by default it will be 24 hours from now so this is the current time and this is 24 hours from now so you can just book it for your future date also let me keep it from 9th of august you can see this is automatically validated to be 24 hours from this selected time and date and here you can see you cannot select the dates older than this one and if you try to select a lower timing so this is 21 29 right so if i just select 6 29 you will get this alert or here telling minimum booking period is for 24 hours okay so i will just change the date and yes you can remove this filters yeah so over here i will just select this maruti baleno and you can see the details about it the transmission if it is automatic or manual and other details like registration number fuel etc here it's like your booking summary the you can confirm your date and time and the drop date and time so this will be rounded off to the lower hour you can see it is written over here time will be rounded off to the lower hour so if you have selected 9 10 it will change it by default to 9 okay so here is the description about the car this will be given when you are adding the car from your admin dashboard you can describe about your car more than a line for now it's just this much and here are the other details about the vehicle so you can see login to see final fares and when i just try to book you get this login page so you have to be authenticated and logged in to book the car so we will start with registering a user over here i'll give the name as user and i will put a phone number over here and i will enter my email id over here user at gmail.com and a password okay registration successful so now let us log in yeah so login successful and we are redirected back to the same page where we left so now you can click on continue and you see your profile is not verified so once you register on the website you need to provide your documents to actually be able to rent the vehicles so you can see please upload your documents to get your profile verified let us click here verify your profile now and here it says documents upload pending so let us add our documents and i will just put some random address over here okay and then you need to put your dl number let me say you can add your dl images over here so i have kept it over here dl front open and this is your driving license back image so the rear side you have to upload it over here and i will select an id proof say aadhar and you have to upload your I mean enter your Aadhaar number or here say update profile profile updated successfully we will review and verify your profile soon so this will be done by the admin so for now you can see the status is under review so you will have to wait for getting verified only then you will be able to 
book your car so you can see it will your account will be verified with one or two within one or two working days after uploading the documents so in the contact us you can see you have a form over here and your contact information and let me just go to my profile you can access this page using this button also and when you make the bookings you will get it over here okay so for now let me just open an incognito window and log in as the admin over there say admin at gmail.com okay so you have logged in as the admin and over here you can see you have verify users so the newly registered users who aren't verified will be shown up over here and it will show the registration date as well so it is registered on 30 and today's date is 30th so let us view and once the admin verifies the dl number and the images this is just a dummy image with no details so when the user uploads his driving license image you can validate if it is correct or wrong and you can check this if there is something wrong you can give a remark over here like please upload a clear image and the other things you can see over here for now i will not mark this as verified i will just put this remarks and say submit okay verification updated so that has been updated but it is not verified okay so we'll go back to the user window and when you refresh over here you can see there is a remark please upload a clear image so once the user uploads a clear image you can just say edit remove your remark and just say is verified submit and you can see that user is not under this verify users list and when the user tries to check in his profile you can see the profile is verified now when he books a car let me just say continue you can see you have an booking summary and you have multiple payment methods over here so for now this is in the test mode so i will just pay it with razor pay you can see it's in test mode and yeah can give you a number or here proceed say upi and say funda at ybl so you can see redirecting in two seconds so you are redirected automatically to your mybookings.php and here is your booking details okay view and yeah so you have the booking date start time and end time total price payment mode payment id okay payment status is completed and booking status is upcoming so let me just go back and in your my profile i mean in the bookings you can view your this thing so this booking is from 30th of 7th month 9 pm to 31st 9 p.m. right so when you go to get car and 30th 31st and if I try to book it before 9 p.m. then that car will not be visible over here because the car is already booked for that period okay so once if it is after 9 right so if I book it on 10 p.m. that car should be visible over here okay similarly if it is under like a longer range let me just show you another one like if i book it from 3rd of august till 9th of august okay so i will take this one say so continue this is from 3rd august to 9th august and i will pay with razor pay say so Funda at YBL okay so this is your another booking over here from 3rd of August to 9th of August let us go to get car and see well, let me select it as 30th itself and it is already booked from 3rd right this car Marty Suzuki Swift so if I try to book it till 4th, 
like if I am booking a car from 30th till 4th, this car is not available that day, right? So it shouldn't display over here. So you can see it is working as expected and it is booked till the 8th, right? So even if I try to book it from the 8th till any other date, if it is after the timing, then it will be available for booking. And as you see here in your my bookings, so we have made the booking from 3rd of August 10 p.m. to 9th of August 10 p.m. So let me go back to the get car and here if you try to book it from 30th to anywhere between that 3 to 9, this Maruti Suzuki Swift will not be available. So you can see it is not visible. And if I try to book it from 7th to any other date outside the booking, we had booked it till 9th of August, right? So I'm taking it from 7th till 11th. Still that car should not be available over here. So you can see the Swift is not available. This is the different vehicle that is available. Yeah. So our filter is working properly. So once a vehicle is booked for a period, no other user can book that during that period. Okay. So you can go to your my bookings and I will go to the admin side of this. So here in the admin side, starting from the dashboard, we first have the analytics like today bookings, how much we have received today and total brands, how many we have added for now, how many brands we have and how many body types, total number of cars, total car images that have been uploaded, total admin and users and social media links. So we'll go to the booking and here you can see the bookings. Let me say view. So you can see the booking details over here. So this is the status of your booking. So once the user has picked the car from your place, you can just mark it to live and click on submit. So once the user is checking this from his application, from his side, you can see the booking status is live. And once it is done, it will be marked as completed when the user returns the vehicle. Okay, so let me just show you when return is as completed and yeah, keep the payment status as completed. Say so submit. Yeah, so here also you can see the booking status has been updated and similarly in the user side, it is completed. Let me go back. We have only one record that is the upcoming booking and the previous one we have marked it as completed. So it will be gone under booking history. So once you click on booking history, you can see all the bookings which are either completed or cancelled. Okay. So we'll go to the verify users, which we have already seen. We can verify our users over here. And then next we have the brands. You can see these are the list of brands we have for now. You can click on add brand. You can give the name, the image, and whether you want to display it or keep it hidden for some time, you can click this and submit okay and you have the edit option as well just change the image and submit it and even the name so you have body types it's like sedan hatchback suv compact suv and you can give an image over here and the visibility status you can control let me say the cars and here you have three cars on our website let me say add car here you give the car name and the car model so which year it was manufactured and you have to select the brand select the body type and select transmission seating capacity whether it's a five seater or seven seater or how much and then the fuel registration number whether it has a fast tag yes or no whether it has a home delivery option are you delivering it to the customer's home or no you can just put that yes or no and your 360 degree camera Press control sunroof all these features you can just select if they are there and the kilometer driven and price per hour once you have done all this and this is the description which will be shown to the user when he views the car okay and here you can see upload car front image this will be used as a thumbnail for the car and once the user opens it you can view multiple images which we upload over here once the car is added let me just add and show you let me say test and I will just add a car with some brand
okay and price per hour kilometers driven leave all the options as default let us choose a image for this i will just put the dl back which i just had and description you can say this is a test car click on submit you can see car saved successfully and let me go to the user side over here when i say get car you can see the test car is over here when i view there is only one image so i am not able to see that multiple dots let us add multiple images for this say upload images you see this right and here click on upload images you can upload max 20 images at once so click here i'll just add these two images together click open and we'll click on upload and you can see car image uploaded successfully let us click back and you can see two images are uploaded over here let us go to the user side refresh so you got the images over here okay so you can keep multiple images over here there is no limit on this and let me go back so for the each image you can edit or delete it and you can directly edit or delete the whole car which we have added let me just delete this okay and that test car is deleted from here go back to your get car and yeah that is not here yeah so getting back to the admin side we have seen the cars and now you have the admin slash users so you can see all your register users over here social media so you have two things for now the facebook and instagram link which is visible in your footer over here right so let me say add social you give the name be it discord or whatever twitter and the url and if you just keep this as unchecked it will show and if you keep this like checked it will not be visible to the users coming to the settings over here this is for the seo part which is seen over here you can see the title over here car rental services right this is the title here you can see your domain url and then you have your description which is also used for your meta description in the website and you can change your logo from here and this is your contact information which is displayed on the contact us page so you can change everything from your admin dashboard itself let me say new address save setting and you can just see the change over here yeah and you can change the phone and email as well so that is it in the admin side let me just log out and close this incognito tab so in this user side as of now you have three payment options one is you can pay using razor pay which also includes UPI and cards for your Indian users and you have an option to pay with your PayPal account or your debit or credit card okay so that's it in this video guys we have seen this demonstration of the car rental services application so that's it in this project guys so if anybody is willing to get this project I will put the link in the description you can go and get it from there so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel Thank you.